Nigeria has recorded eight new cases of coronavirus, bringing the total confirmed infections in the country to 89. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control made its known via its Twitter handle on Saturday. It tweeted, eight new cases of hashtag COVID-19 have been reported in Nigeria, seven in Lagos State and one in Benue. As of 4 p.m. on 28th of March, there were 89 confirmed cases of hashtag COVID-19 reported in Nigeria with one dead. For a breakdown of cases by in real time, Lagos currently has 59 cases. The Federal Capital Territory has three. Ekiti State has one. Or just State, three. Edo State, two. Bauchi, two. Oshun, one. Rivers, one. Enugu, two. And Benue, one. Joining us live via telephone is Dr. Tuyu Meba Wodun, public health practitioner. Good evening to you, doctor. Good evening. Now, in the last 24 hours, Nigeria has recorded 19 new cases of COVID-19. How did we get to this point? It's not, it's not unexpected. Um, here's why. Now, uh, we agree that quite a lot of people that came in contact with those primary cases, those imported cases, were not detected. And in fact, there's a lot of um, complacency on the part of those clients or patients as they refuse to report appropriately to the necessary centers. Now we're kind of moving to the level of secondary cases. And how do we get there? The more you try to test, the more you get more clients, more patients with the disease. OK, what we have done is that we've increased the testing capacity across the states. And that has actually, you know, make us you know, really get quite a number of, of cases. I, we should expect this to increase because at the point we will get to the point of saturation when we must have done sufficient testing. Now, what we should do to pick more cases now is to increase our capacity for testing. Without that capacity for testing being increased, we won't have the true picture of what is going on in Nigeria. Uh, with, with this current new cases, um, isn't it pertinent and very indicative of the fact that maybe Nigeria needs to review its strategy. What do you say to this? You know, we have been on this. We started seeing some definitive actions from government. Now, we had said, even from, this, from the first time the case broke out in China, that unfortunately, that is, the disease is unstoppable. When we had three cases in Nigeria, I said that this was time for government to actually take further action. Stop the flight from coming in, close schools, um, limit public gatherings, close um, uh, uh, religious places. Now, we need to actually do more. What can help us, is, apart from all these closures we have done, is to step up testing capacity. The testing must be so convenient. It must be devolved to local place as local as possible. And we must be able to get a quick result. Now, good enough, we're having a situation where um, some laboratories have, dis have discovered, have been able to manufacture test kits that can pick coronavirus, that can speak coronavirus as, as, as fast as few minutes. That should be something we should embrace. That should be something we should deploy. And that is something we should build the capacity for. And uh, uh, good enough, people are trying to build isolation centers. That we have to ramp up again the um, case, uh, case findings, contact tracing. We have to ramp it up. We can't stop now because if you stop and the thing goes out of control, we don't have the facilities, we don't have the human resources, we don't have the fund, we don't have the where we are to play the scale of Italy or Spain or even USA. All right, Doctor, a size, um, one of your recommendations saying um, the test kit should be made available. Um, if Nigeria would have to review its approach to tackling the virus, in your professional opinion, what, what, would, you be, what would be your recommendations? To tackle the virus? Well, well, of course, we have to keep pushing the campaign we're doing. We have to deepen it. We have to close more public uh, spaces where contact is possible. We have to keep maintaining social distance. We have to wrap up um, sanitation and hygiene. The campaign must keep going on. We must open more testing centers. We must provide space for isolation. 
we must give incentives for people to want to get uh, um, that to stay in that isolation, you know, or stay or stay in quarantine. We, if we don't give those incentives, people will run away and we'll have problems. Right. Now, Lagos seems to be um, the state with the highest number of cases right now and in Nigeria. So should, should we start considering a total lockdown at this stage? Now, obviously so. Lagos will be the, number, the leading place because one, it is, this is a business hub, this is a business center in Nigeria. And that's where most uh, activities are located, most flights come to Lagos. I'm expecting federal capital territories to come. To come. If the state choose to raise the, the testing capacity, I should expect that to come up. For Lagos State, we may not have choice than to actually do a, you know, some sort of lockdown and increase our testing capacity. We cannot continue like this because for me, I see a lot of sloppy decisions because people, the government is thinking that if we lock up, people will need food. We, can, we don't want social unrest and all those. Yes, right thinking. But the point is that we want people to take that firm decision. Do we want to deploy help to people so that you know, the, you know we can, that can assist them also to lock up? Or do we want to open the place and allow the disease to, to overwhelm us? I, I think the, the rational decision is for Lagos to wake up and say, listen, for the next two weeks, this is what we're going to do. Let's everybody stop. Let's understand you where you are, your local government. Let's be able to go from house to house and distribute something. And in that situation, also encourage voluntary testing. That, 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 that is the kind of radical thing we need to do now. Dr. Tuyi Mebawadun, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me.